seventh place from North Vancouver. She was an age group champion last year. This is her very first race as a pro with a time of 10.07.07, Cheryl Orlovsky. From Shelburne, Vermont, we had her on the pro panel. She finished with a time of 10.04.40. In sixth place, Jesse Donovan. From Noosa Heads, Australia, with a time of 10 hours, 18 seconds, Jessica Fleming. Some 10 hours, uh, 959, 34 was the time for Mackenzie Madison from Springfield, Oregon in fourth place. From Penticton, I called her the pride of Penticton with a time of 955.06 in third place, Jen Annett. In her very first Ironman performance, a multi-time Xterra World Champion, she finished second place yesterday, having led the race for so much of the day. What an inspiring performance with a time of 9.48.23. Melanie McQuaid from Victoria. What an incredible day for the Ironman Boulder defending champion who took the win the late stages of the run, ladies and gentlemen, from Arvada, Colorado, your 2015 Subaru Ironman Canada champion, Danielle Mack, with a time of 9.46.19. These are your top 10 women here at Subaru Ironman Canada. How about another round of applause? gentlemen. Once again, it gives me great pleasure to uh, again congratulate our 2015 champion, Danielle Mack. Danielle, what a day. I'm going to give you the mic to say a few words about how it all played out. Wow. What a day we had out there. To those of you who completed your first Ironman, you can say, you are an Ironman at one of the toughest races to date. If you so happened to not have the day you were hoping for, please know with certainty, setbacks are a setup for a comeback. Your day will come. I can promise you that. Keep following your dreams. If you had the day of your dreams, congratulations. You are one tough cookie. To the volunteers, thank you so much for everything. The men and women who were out there were our earth angels, spending their day in the cold, rainy conditions so that we had all the aid and support we needed out on the race course. I wanna personally thank you so much on behalf of all the athletes here. <laughs> Thank you so much to the race director, Evan Taylor, for putting on a spectacular race. What a great host Whistler is for an Ironman. All the spectators and fans that came out to cheer us on by the hours, well, you made it a truly special day. I want to thank my fellow women competitors. You are all fantastic athletes, and I felt so blessed to race in such a strong field. Jessica Fleming, you had one heck of a bike split. You really pushed the rest of us. Mackenzie Madison, talk about one tough chick. She did the whole bike in her shorts and racing top. No arm warmers, jacket, or <laughs> anything for this girl. She was amazing. Jen Arnett ran the fastest run split after completing Coeur d'Alene four weeks ago. Incredible. <laughs> and Melanie McQuaid, you are one of my idols. If you don't know, she is a three-time Xterra world champion. 
and an ITU Cross World Champion. And yesterday was her first ever Ironman. Melanie, you are tough as nails. You pushed the rest of us to our limits. Thank you so much. I was hungry for this race. Earlier this season, I had a setback. But because of it, it set me up perfectly for a comeback here at Ironman Whistler. I'm a true believer that everything happens for a reason. I had a decent swim. I was not last out of the water, which is a successful. And then <laughs> I was patient on the bike, stayed to my plan, and out on the run, I was focused, patient, and consistent. My coaches, Simon Lessing and Lisa Lessing, Colleen and Darren DeRook, prepared me to stay mentally tough and never give up. Thank you so much to my phenomenal sponsors, my title sponsor, Guy Chemical, Hoka, First Endurance, Boulder Coaching, Wheat Ridge Cyclery, Garmin, Blue 70, Transformation Massage, and Pro Bike Express. As, out, as all of you know, it takes a fantastic support system for every athlete to finish an Ironman. I want to dedicate this race to my husband, my rock, and my soulmate, Jeff Mack. Thank you for everything, love. I also always race for Mother Mary, God, and my fleet of angels, who were beside me every step of the way. I'm not sure what your dreams are. My goals are to be the best wife I can to my beloved husband, the best servant to humanity, and the best triathlete. No matter what your goals are, know that you can achieve them. I want to leave you with one last thing, a quote from Les Brown. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it. If all you dream and scheme is about it, if, all you, if life seems useless and worthless without it, if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror for the opposition for it, if you simply go after that thing that you want, with all your capacity, strength, and sargacity, faith, hope, and confidence, and stern personacity. If neither cold, poverty, famine, nor gout, sickness, nor pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you beseeched and beset it, with the help of God, you will get it. Thank you so much.